violence and in youth violence. Here are their goals for the community. Well, good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Julian Grace. Iran's bomb carrying drones have started reaching Israel within the past few hours. This video from Jerusalem shows what appears to be Israel's air defense system launching intercepts against incoming missiles. The Israeli military says most drones and missiles were intercepted before entering the country. The most recent aggression in the Middle East comes after an airstrike that destroyed Iran's consulate in Syria. The attack blamed on Israel left 12 people dead, including two elite Iranian generals. This map shows the areas where the explosions were reported in the sky in the region, including Jerusalem, Beersheba, Nazareth, Hebron, and Golan Heights. This is what else we found out. President Joe Biden met with members of his National Security Council in the Situation Room this evening. Biden has promised ironclad support for Israel against the Iranian attacks. Now, a group of hardline supporters of the Iranian government gathered tonight in the country's capital to celebrate the missiles and drone attacks. They waved Palestinian flags, Lebanese and Hezbollah, and chanted death to Israel and death to America. Well, people here in North Carolina are responding to what's unfolding right in the Middle East. Now, we will have Carly a little bit later to give us some more information on exactly what is going on there. But we are told communities have been affected everywhere there. This is what else we're learning. There's Iranian people all across the world that are reaching out to speak out. That includes right here in Raleigh. We've heard from a few organizations who are sharing what's on their minds after these attacks unfolded. Now, the executive director of the Raleigh Carey Jewish Federation has said, quote, like everyone else, we are praying for peace in Israel and the Middle East. So many in the Jewish community have family and friends in Israel, and we are definitely concerned. Congressman Wiley Nickel writes, quote, I'm closely monitoring the situation unfolding in the Middle East and praying for all our allies in, 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 in Israel as we work to defend herself and them against Israel, Iran. Now, we have reached out to Congresswoman Deborah Ross, as well as Iranian cultural groups, to hear how they're responding to this. We're waiting to hear back. We should find out a little bit more later this evening. We will continue to keep you posted. Well, Raleigh police are investigating a shooting on New Bern Avenue. This is what we know at this hour. Police say the shooting stemmed from a home invasion. They told us a homeowner.